The OSI layer 2 is the data link layer, which is concerned with frames. There are two sublayers: the media access layer, which is where the MAC address lives. This is the physical address that's burned into the hardware. And then there's the logical link control sublayer, which is what sends the frames to their next destination. Devices at this layer include Ethernet, or network interface cards, switches, and bridges. Protocols at this layer begin with address resolution protocol, which translates between MAC addresses, which is this one here, where the device lives, between that and the IP address, which looks like this, which is more of a logical address, operating at layer 3. The multi-protocol label switching, MPLS, is another protocol at this layer, and it consists of three components. It has an MPLS node, edge node, excuse me, has a label switch path, and a label switching router. The edge node is also an LSR, or a label switching router, that sits on the edge of the network. The benefits of MPLS, it includes efficient traffic, engineering, the allowance of multiple services such as VoIP and file storage, and more uptime. Point-to-point -point protocol is a layer 2 standard protocol for, st for sending multi-protocol datagrams over point-to-point -point links such as switches and routers. This layered protocol has three components. Encapsulation of multi-protocol datagrams, link control protocol which establishes, configures, and tests the link it also negotiates the settings, options, and the use of any features. And then we have the network control protocols, which are used to negotiate optional configuration settings for the network layer protocols. Fiber channel over Ethernet, or FCOE, is a protocol that's used to achieve large-scale network uh, storage area networks. It transmits optic signals over Ethernet, and it requires a fiber channel switch. So again, we have here optic to copper media. And again, there's the fiber channel switch. For the exam, you'll need to be familiar with layer two vulnerabilities and mitigations. And since there are multiple people out there who've covered this material much better than I ever could, I recommend watching them. But there's one in particular that I benefited from when I was studying for this exam, and that's a video from uh, a YouTuber named Team Nanog. And there's the link there. I know you're not going to type that in. So just go to YouTube and type in Team Nanog Layer 2 Vulnerabilities. And that video should pop right up. So uh, be warned, it's an hour and a half. And the audio, the audio and the video quality isn't great, but it's loaded with a lot of good information. So thanks again for watching and have a great day.